So I'm here with Aaron Douglas. Aaron, you created this incredible song cycle called The Storm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Tell me how it started. Give me the story. Karen, it began with just writing some songs for my last album. Um, one song called The Storm, and then another song called Crazy Town, all of which were a response to what was happening politically around us and the election of Donald Trump. And then I just found, as a songwriter, I find myself writing lots and lots of songs in reaction to what I'm experiencing in the course of the days and weeks and, and years of the Trump administration. And the songs just started to pour out of me, more as a reaction to the kind of the somewhat horrifying things I was seeing. And then I thought, you know, you could really put this together as a play, as a musical that would actually describe the experience of being just a citizen, an ordinary person in the United States during this time, and create a character of Donald Trump, create a character who was like his chief of staff, create a new rising politician who would be like a new hope. And so I created those characters and I, um, and then gave them song. And so each of those characters then occupies uh, a moment in this narrative arc in the storm of American song cycle which is about a 45 minute long rock musical. I call it a political rock musical. Really, I think trying to just capture permanently what we all feel, or many of us feel, during these times. That's amazing. Yeah. I've, I've listened to it, I love every song. Well, you're very kind to say so. I actually love every song <laughs> too. Um, and it's been super fun to sing the Trump songs, trying to not make it all about Donald Trump himself, but really make it about kind of this sort of uber character who can kind of become this polarizing president. And so it becomes a lesson for not just today, but even a longer term. Was it therapeutic for you at all? I mean, what was, what was your emotional arc developing this song cycle? That's a, that's a good question. Um, writing music for me and writing songs for me is therapeutic just to begin with no matter what the subject matter. Writing songs about my reaction to Donald Trump was more a political statement, I think, and more a political reaction than it was an emotional catharsis. Um, in a funny way, I was getting the catharsis through just railing at him, you know, when I would watch him on TV. But many of the emotional reactions I had during this time sort of followed the same arc as the storyline does. So it started off being, okay, maybe we can give this guy some leeway, and maybe he'll, maybe he'll actually prove himself to be okay. Never had any big expectations for great, but maybe he'll be okay. Maybe he'll grow into the job. I think we all thought that. So the first act is kind of that whole period of time of discovering who the Trump character is. So the first act is kind of upbeat. Most of the songs are kind of fun and upbeat. It's the second act that begins with a song called... Um, what Kind of Man, where the character of Ben, this rising black politician, comes on stage. You've met him before in Act 1, but you see him in Act 2, opening Act 2, going, what the heck? What kind of man is this who would do these things? And then the progression of Act 2 gets kind of dark, and then it ends on a very hopeful note of optimism. That's fabulous. I noticed in, in the song cycle there are so many types a song, so much different music. How, how did you manage that? Genres of music, yeah. yeah. I would say there's bluegrass, there's salsa, there's kind of Cubano music, there is definitely rock music, ballads, power ballads, folk tunes. There's songs where it's just me and my guitar. There are songs where it's backed up by a full horn section and rock band. All of the songs where Trump is on stage, with the exception of one, are full horn section songs. Big, brassy, lots of horns, lots of trumpets, lots of just sort of blustery like trumpets. And uh, that was intentional. And, uh, but you're right. So it, what, as, a, as, a, as a listener to the song cycle, what you do have is not only an experience of the song arc itself, the narrative arc itself, but also the sense of these boy, the rhythms are really different, and the pace of the songs is really changing, and the genres is kind of all over the place, and that's that's fun and intentional. And in fact, I stretch myself as a musician further on this record, on these songs than I ever have before. 
Well, thank you, Eric. I so appreciate the time. I'm so excited. I hope everyone listens to every song. It's an incredible song cycle. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't agree more heartedly. <laughs>